Hi everyone. I'm guessing lots of you remember the old Sonny Walkman. Great little players, weren't they? The old cassette in there, tiny little thing. Great at the time. Headphones run around the block. Great stuff. Good music. Brilliant. Then they got CD players out. They weren't too bad, but they uh, they did skip a bit, even though they tried hard not to make them skip. Anyway, moving on to today's technology, we have this little thing here. And this little thing is a high def player. By that I mean capable of playing files of a far higher quality than MP3 and doing lots more besides. So let's have a close look at it, shall we? Here we have our little device in. It's called an X Duo. Obviously, as you can guess, I got it from China. I bought it last year and it's been pretty damn good so I'll take you down through the specs here there's lots of really good features on this device um, I'll just let it roll through so you can read because there's so many it would take me too long uh, to read them all out but there is a marvel of, of features but say for me the main one is the fact you can play high quality HD reference audio files on it just pause this wherever you want you want to have a look at um, a bit slower speed <laughs> here's a bit more information here very useful for all the users that can read Chinese <laughs> okay that's enough jokes now okay so looking at the, the face here now what have we got and then you can see there there's the power off button and the volume up and down button and at the front here we have the play and pause button fast forwards and so on okay and the stop buttons um, we have room there for a little mini SD card it was take 256 gigabyte card At the bottom there is a USB input and that's to charge it with and we have a line output and a headphone output that's about it so let's turn it on shall we have a little look you can see hi-fi digital res player and it's loading up my files that are in there now okay here is some of the albums I've got on here they've all been ripped to WAV files here not mp3s so the quality is a lot better this is not a touch screen thing by the way you have to kind of use your little buttons down here where my thumb is to go up through the files and down I don't mind that touch screens can be odd so you can see I've got quite a few on there here is the other main screen when you first turn your unit on is what you get uh, the music browser uh, my music and music settings system settings and Bluetooth settings yes it's Bluetooth as well which is pretty good I'm gonna show you this in the car because another reason I bought this a year ago and I'll show you why so I have pushed settings because I wanted to show you something under settings is very useful and it's this one here car mode so if your stereo has got a line input this is where this comes in really useful because I can plug the USB charge line into the car charger and it will actually that will keep it charged but more importantly this is now selectable on the car and it means that it will play and go on and off as and when you use the car. So when you start the car it will all come on and activate when you turn the car off it will turn this unit off also it also remembers exactly where you left the track if you're halfway through and will restart it back in the same position a really handy feature I think so this has made this really useful and something that we take out in Jan's Renault all the time with us so here we are in the car uh, I've got one of these little sticky back things here I've got a magnet on the back of, of the unit and I just stick that on there so that I've got it on there and as you can see there's a USB coming out that's going into this USB charger output down here and there's the line output that's coming out of the bottom of the unit there so we're all plugged in ready to go I only have to select line input on the unit and we're away and I say this will turn on and off as the car is activated and going uh, and really useful idea because I can actually shut that off now when I start the car um, it will all liven up so we'll try that now so we'll start this track here and will I see you again okay the three degrees we'll see if it comes back on to that track when the car's turned off and back on again Okay, so the car's turned on, let's see if it gets to the track now. 
and there it is when will I see you again I haven't got the volume up of course because uh, you know what it's like with YouTube they will mute the audio uh, and that will be that so I can't actually play you how it sounds but honestly it sounds very good you can see that that is a flak file there going across there at 44 kilohertz okay so I have got some high def music on there as you can see there we'll select that and have a little look what's there we'll play one of the files and you, it should show you the bit rate of it so we'll go for this one and it should say down there what this one is yeah, this one is a flak at 44 let's try another one let's take a look at take 5 this one's a high quality flak I know and it should come up with the bit rate that this one's been recorded out at the bottom there on the screen and as you can see that's a 192 kilohertz 24 bit file that's virtually as high as you get these days that means that the quality is far far superior to any mp3 you can put at it out there this is a high quality fantastic player and when I stream it at the home for the Bluetooth through this hi-fi system it also sounds really really good high quality unit and um, because it had a double use for the car for all of those you saw in my video on fitting a stereo unit in my other car the Vauxhall they are a bit of a job to do so if you've actually got a line input in your car uh, then this is a, a kind of way out of it again it's not too bad a price for this player fairly cheap I if I can find the link for you that I bought it from um, but I have to say it's been very good reliable and the quality through headphones obviously is very very good indeed so there we are the X duo high def music player if you want high quality music this is a lovely device as I showed you on the car works a treat if you've got a line input this gets you around getting all your music into the car also it's Bluetooth as well if you've got a Bluetooth function you can do that as well I know you may be saying why don't you just use your phone well you know with the phone it's going to take up all your memory and you know you've got nothing left because if you want to try and get this amount of music on your phone you won't do it you'll have to do it in mp3s and the quality will drop dramatically this enables you to do it in WAV file format or higher as I've showed you some of the files on this are. The other bonus for this of course is that if you've got a high def music system at home or even someone else's house you could still Bluetooth this in and stream your music from this into their system and obviously your own system at home obviously. Last bonus of course if you into a bit of jogging, a bit of sports you can plug your headphones in there and you've got some really nice high def music to play as you run around. <laughs> I'm not into that sort of thing myself, but yeah, if you like it, do it. So, there you are. Anyway, nice little thing. I meant to do it last year. I finally remembered. It actually it jogged my memory because I, I had showed you that um, player in my old Vauxhall, uh, the complete unit that I had fitted. And if you've got sort of a line input, then you can get around it by using one of these little things, which is a great idea. You can take this away with you. When that box all goes, I've got to sell that unit that I've put in there because I chuck the old one away. <laughs> anyway, there you are. So, good unit. If you're after something a little bit different, it might be for you. Okay, that's it. All my stuff, you know, to go. Usual place, Derek from 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.